God is good! Somewhere in a nondescript parsonage, it's praying for a hurting world with Father Michael and Father Michael's ministries. And we are so excited here. This is kind of a, of a testimony type deal of what Father Michael's in his ministry is all about. This is Father Michael's ministries, and this is exactly, this is absolutely what we believe. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's way to lie before me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me from snares of devils, from temptations of vices, from everyone who shall wish me ill, afar and near, alone and in multitude. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the freeness, through confession of the oneness of the Creator of creation. And now, without any further ado, Father Michael. Hello, my people. Hello, my children. Hello, my parishioners. This is Father Michael of Father Michael's Ministry speaking to you. I hope my voice is coming out very loud and clear today. Because, unfortunately, I had been experiencing quite a bit of uh, my voice to, uh, to whereas the people just pretty much couldn't understand me having a lar bit of laryngitis and a little hoarseness and uh, you know how some of, the, some of the springtime type things you know does to a person and and all of their um, uh, allergies and so forth and so on but and today I would like to say that you know, um, Father Michael loves each and every one of you. Yeah, you know, whoever you are out there, wherever in, in the part of the world that you are, if no one has told you that you have been loved today, Father Michael says he loves you. Now, today I would like to speak um, mainly in a way it's about what my ministry is all about. Um, I've been podcasting and, you know, ministering, you know, the Word of God for over five and a half years now. Now, some of you out there who have been listening to me for all of these years are going to already know what I'm going to say. But, to some of you out there who have never heard me before, or you just want to listen again, please do. Because, you know, I've listened to, re listened to things people have said before and I didn't catch a few things. You always re catch a few things. Listen to it again. That's why I, I mean, I encourage, you know, re listen and re listen and re listen to what I, my message is. You might catch something. The Lord might show you something. You, it can be, it can be. But, you know, the, 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 the prime directive of my ministry is salvation. Because in, the, in this world, you know, there are so many people, especially the millennials. I'm not just picking on them, but I'm saying a lot of them and pre that, but simply do not know, you know, Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And anyone who does not know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior will burn in hell for an eternity. Yes, me and my ministry, we believe 
and hellfire and brimstone. Yes, we do believe that the devil is real. He is a real being. He's on the earth, roaming around, seeking to whom he may devour, as it says in the word of God. And his demons too. Don't forget that. But we have our Father God and his angels protecting us as Christians. If you're not a Christian, you're not going to be protected. Because how can you call upon God's name if you have not taken, taken on the name of Jesus in your life, in your whole existence? And I know there's, you know, many people, you know, in, in, in the church world these days, you know, they, they seem to, so, some of what they say is okay, but the, the ones that say things like, oh, well, if you just accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior today, you know, Tomorrow morning when you wake up, you're going to have a brand new Cadillac Eldorado in your driveway. Well, I'm sorry. It don't work that way. Hey, I, hey be nice. I, it'd, be, it'd really be nice. It really would. But it don't work that way. I, and that's why I'm always telling people, watch out for the charlatans out there. These ministers who are wolves in sheep's clothing out there, you know, just deceiving God's people, doing the work of the devil. And, um, oh yes, and uh, there was, and one thing I do need to, you know, say that I haven't said in a long time, but I think it needs to be said again, since these things like these are picking up, so it would seem in the world, that I'm, uh, I am not an exorcist. That is just simply something that I am not. Now, there are people out there who have the special unction to be able to do exorcisms. But that's a special gift from God. And people who don't have, and people who don't have, you know, the unction or, you know, the provision of God for them being around something like that, they could get in trouble. You could get, you could get your, you could easily you know, get something attached to you, an attachment. That happens. But now let me stop there talking about that because I'm not the kind of a minister that is, looks for a demon under every rock like some of these other wild bunch of churches are, some some of them out there. But then again, you, you got your you got your mega churches. I'm I'm great, and I'm glad there's a lot of churches. There are big churches out there, you know, that people can listen to the word of God. But I hate to say this, but it's really the watered down word of God. It's not the real thing. It's, it's just people they want to keep people comfortable in their mega churches. Those ministers, you know, they're making you know probably about a hundred grand a year or more, and everything, and you know they don't want to. You know, you know, uh, mess her up their little cushy position. No, no, no. Just keep them. Keep just keep just 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 give them the watered down word of God and keep them comfortable and keep them in their comfort zones and keep them in their little bubbles and everything and just keep them that way. And um, uh, and that is what they have most of them think. But I will tell you this. I will say this, that it says in the word of God that, you know, nobody knows, not Jesus, nor the angels, when Jesus is coming back to this earth to get us. As it says in the Bible, we're going to be caught up. Some people know that word, know the word rapture more than caught up, but it's um, caught up is in the Bible, rapture is not. But therefore, we should be able to um, uh, you know, as, uh, get as many people as we can save, folks. I'm not sure how much time's left we've got. I'm not sure. I mean, people are even saying things about World War Three. I wouldn't worry about that too much. 
Because it says in the word of God as well, there will be wars and rumors of wars, but the end has not come yet. So don't think of it. Don't think of it so much just yet. But I'm, um, and, and the, from, from the children of the Cold War, then actually the Cold War ended, the wall, the wall fell. And we thought, oh, wonderful, you know, then we're not going to ever have World War Three again. <laughs> Yeah, well, yes, it's, 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 uh, yeah, I believe there's there's a particular country that I don't even want to talk about. It's already starting all this war in this in the, in this world. So let God deal with them. The bunch of godless people, not all of them, excuse me. But I'm uh, that I'm. Um, but um, I will, you know, say this. You know, if. Um, any of you out there at the sound of my voice, you know, if, if you, let me tell you something straight up. If you are not a Christian, you're going to burn in hell for an eternity. There is no other way. Jesus said in his word that I, God's word said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. Jesus specifically said, you don't get to go to my Father God except through me. He didn't, he didn't say Mohammed. He didn't say anything about Allah. He didn't say anything about Buddha. He didn't say anything about Krishna. He didn't say, say anything about Boogalooga either. So, okay. There you go with that. He said specifically Jesus, you know. And specifically that. And, um, I, and, um, uh, you know, Jesus, when he was on the earth, he never did go out and, and teach, says, teach, to, you, and teach, and, and people, tell people, say, um, not to tell people to say, oh, you all will be prosperous. You all, you all will be that way tomorrow. You know, you will wake up and, 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 and you will have so many barns of food, you will not know what to do with it. Yeah, okay. Now, see, Jesus didn't do that, now did he? No, he always had a story to go with whatever he taught. Uh, and then that actual parable that happened. And money didn't have nothing to do with it. But, um, uh, but yeah, what a lot of these ministers today do. It's all about the money. It's all about the money. Look, I understand. It takes money to operate a ministry. I mean, at the very least, it even costs a certain amount of money to be on Spreaker, which we are on. And um, uh, it also costs a certain amount of money that we have to you know, pay for you know, our cell phones. That's the way we, we preach to people. All around the world. All around the world. I mean, I know I have many fans all around the world. I got to actually check off of uh, iHeartRadio one time, and I didn't know I had that much of them anymore either. But, you know, but um, um, I just like to say a little quick thing is just say if, if you need you out there, you know, uh, uh, you, know you listen to me like me, you like me, please give me a thumbs up. You know, please share my podcast with someone if that's possible with uh, whichever podcast, you know, outlet you use. I'd appreciate that. Subscribe, um, put the notification bell on every time I come on, which is sometimes very rare as you say and has been that I'm, um, that I'm, um, you can get me every time. So uh, let me just go back off to what, what I was talking about uh, again before I went on the little bunny trail. That look, if you really just don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord, personal Lord and Savior, or if you backslid, you once knew Him, but you don't, but you went, went way into sin and went into evil. Well, you can come back again. <clears throat> there's, there's no, there's, there's, there's nothing says there's no one says you can. There's nothing says you can. So let me just ask you a question. I want to ask each and every one of you at the sound of my voice a question. Are you a Christian? The second question I have to ask is this. If you, any of you, if you died tonight, if you died tonight, 
and you didn't know if you get in this morning or the next morning, you're not going to wake up, then I suggest that you really need to talk to the Lord. Now, if you're not a Christian, or you have backslidden, I have made, this is my altar call I'm giving. Okay, people, it's my altar call. I have a prayer that is short, but speaks volumes. And anyone wanting to become a Christian, meaning having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, meaning reading the Bible, meaning going to church, finding a church. But let's let's get let's let's get let's get some people saved here now. I know there's people around the world. You can hear me now because I can feel it in my body. I just feel it in my spirit. I just feel it right now. Now repeat after me if you want to be saved or if you if you just really need to repent about something, say Father God. In Jesus' name, I ask you for forgiveness of my sins in word, thought, and deed. In Jesus' holy and precious name, amen. And thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving me from the fires of hell. Amen. Thank you, Lord. If you ever prayed that prayer, the first time you ever prayed that, you're saved now. You are in the world of Christianity. Welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. And if you have been backslidden and you pray that prayer, you are back with the Lord. Now, stay with the Lord. The Lord will not forsake you. Because he says in his word, I will never leave you, leave you nor forsake you. Praise his name. Well, okay, um, uh, I know today was, you know, in a way, maybe just a bit of a generic type podcast. You know, I didn't get into any real serious, you know, stuff like I do a lot sometimes. But I felt that it was just necessary that maybe some people that may just be first listening to my podcast, that they get, get kind of acquainted to, you know, as to what I podcast and they've got five and a half years or more work to listen to whatever else I've done all these years. And I'd like to ask all of you, my people, my parishioners and whomever else that we have a website that you could, um, uh, you can always ask for a prayer request if you want to, Absolutely, you know, communicate with me, Father Michael. You can do that. You want to ask me some questions? I'd be happy to answer your questions. I'd be, I want, I would like to know. This is what I want to know. And I know it, it, it I mean, it's, it's great. It would be hard to know for the entire world, but I would like to know how many of you out there right now can hear me? How, how many of you are listening to my, to my, uh, my, my ministry? I, I would like for all, as many of you can to go to the website that we'll be sending in the, in the end notes of the show. And um, uh, you can uh, do that there. I'd like for you to, I want to know my people more and more and more. I want to get to know you. Without you, there is no me. I want to get to know you. I want to pray for you personally. I want to go. I want. I want to do this. I want to know what you want to know. You want to know about something? I can make up. I can easily make a uh, sermon out of it. It's that easy. But people, I just want to go ahead and close this out. Oh, now wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have almost lost my faculties here. I had forgot to say you do. You have to get baptized. That is one thing you must do. In the old in the, in the old Greek, the words immerso, meaning totally immersed, even if a big toe's out, you gotta do it again. And you must and please check out a church, you know, investigate it, you know, make sure, you know, you can get along with them and it's something not as silly as perhaps that you smoke tobacco, even though it's not good for you, but these church people might shun you and then you'd shun them and then shun God. So see that's the devil wants. He wants people to, you know, to shun, shun God, where he can have them in it for his, for his glory, for the devil's glory. So that's what I'm asking you. You know, if you, if you didn't take the Lord to, to, tonight, 
when you heard me, when, when, when I gave my altar call, let me just tell you, let me ask something. I'm talking to somebody out there right now. If you don't take the Lord as your personal Savior tonight, by morning you will be burning in hell. And I'm talking to somebody out there. Because I feel it in my spirit and it, it, it grieves me greatly. And I just don't know much how long I'm going to be able to stand that. But I'm, uh, just don't come on me too high, too much. But, okay. <sighs> Let me just go ahead and say that I'm, uh, that I'm, uh, I want to thank each and every one of you for listening to me wherever your domicile may be, wherever you may be. Thank you for listening to me, me and some of my little bunny trails too. God bless you. And I just want to end my podcast and, and giving all of you a, a, a holy blessing. And I always do this in the air and I'll say this in the English language. And I give you all the blessing in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We hope you enjoy listening to the Bible teaching and Bible preaching of Father Michael and Father Michael's ministries. If you would like to get in touch with the website, it is the letter, the letter U, the number four, JC, dot wordpress dot com u for jc at wordpress I mean, dot wordpress dot com we'll leave that on the show notes you can also email the ministry at the James Henry Empowerment Network uh, email address empower your pattern at gmail dot com if you have any prayer requests um or, or leave it to those of you Watching it on YouTube, you can leave your prayer requests in the comments below. This is Father Michael's Ministry saying until next time, take care and God bless you.